Hello and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Pranav Rathi and I work for the Fanshawe's international office looking after the South Asia market. Uh, I will be the host for the session. Before we begin today's session, I would like to review a few housekeeping items. Uh, audience webcams and mics would be turned off for the entire session. If you have any questions throughout the session, please submit it with the question feature. To open the question feature, click on the question mark. Following the session, we'll have live Q&A from the questions submitted. We'll try our level best to get to all the questions that were submitted within the session time. If you have any further questions after the session, we recommend you to email international at fanshawc.ca or book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe's College, Fanshawe College's recruiters. If you have multiple uh, programs running on your computer, it, it it may compromise from your webinar experience. We would advise you to take a moment now to close the, all the other programs that we have before that, that is open in your system before we begin today's session. So now I would like to introduce uh, uh, Nod, Mark, Corinne, and Larry from London South. Uh, they'll be talking about the programs in London South at Fanshawe College. Uh, and I will be back again for the live Q&A, and I'm going to pass it over to, this, to our distinguished speakers. So I would be sharing the presentation now. Are you able to see the presentation? Yeah. We see it, Pranav. It's not in presentation mode yet. Okay, I'll, I'll try it again. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Great. Well, thanks, Pranav. So, welcome, everyone. My name is Dr. Nord Mensa. Next slide, please. And I'm the Associate Dean here at London South. It's a pleasure to have all of you here today. We hope that you have a very interesting session, and we also plan to answer all of your questions if possible. So, um, just let you know how things are going to go today. You're going to hear from me. You're going to hear from Pranav, you're going to hear from our coordinators. We're going to be asking you some questions. And I just want to put a little bug in your head to really pay attention to the information we're going to give you at the end of the presentation. We're going to have a contest for some gift cards based on the information that we provided to you. When you're responding to some of the questions that I ask, feel free to just put them in the question section and we will take care of it from there. So um, I'm here in London, Ontario at uh, London South Campus. I'm actually at home, but um, normally I'm at London South. So you know where I am, but I don't know where you are. So if you can just type in the question section, please let us know where you're tuning in from. So the first answer is from India. Uh, students, you can mention which country, which city specifically, or from city and the country where you are from. It can be the question section or the chat section. So somebody is from Ontario, Coburg, Ontario. Did I pronounce it correctly? I hope I did. Yes. Uh, Mexico City, uh, we have some from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Mumbai, India, somebody from Sarnia, Cambridge, somebody from London, Ontario, Mexico, Ahmedabad, India, Bahamas, 
Brampton, Ontario, Woodstock, St. Thomas. So we've got people from all across the globe today for our session. That's wonderful, Pranav. Thank you very much. So welcome, everyone. I'm pleased to be able to introduce you to the campus and a few of our wonderful program coordinators here at the school. So let's take a moment to watch this quick video as an introduction. Pranav, if you could please start the video. Sure. Just want to take a moment. Hello, my name is Dr. Nord Mensa. I'm the Associate Dean at London South Campus. It is my esteemed pleasure to extend greetings and welcome to you as a prospective student for London South. Now this message is for all the students who will be arriving, both international and domestic, and I'll get into that in a little bit, as well as those parents who are entrusting Fanshawe with your sons and daughters. Welcome, sincerely. London South Campus is the newest campus in Fanshawe's London collection. It's not located at the Oxford Street campus, nor is it located at the downtown campus. London South Campus is located at the corner of Wellington and Bradley in London South. The building has been completely renovated and redesigned to fit into Fanshawe's brand and provide students with an exceptional learning space with amenities just nearby in the London South community. London South is comprised of a varied student population coming from all over the world. Most of the students, in fact, are international. However, there are also domestic students on campus. The international students come from countries from around the world and all of the students come with both professional and academic experience because London South Campus is comprised of only grad certs. Presently, there are four graduate certificates offered at London South. Retirement Residence Management, Business and Information Systems Architecture, Business Management, and Agribusiness Management. In the fall of 2020, we will be launching a new program healthcare administration management. The faculty team working at London South are extremely committed to their students. They are a group of exceptional professionals with a very rich experience, most of whom are still currently working in their fields and they bring a great deal of current knowledge, awareness and perspective into the classroom. London South has a lot of amenities that you don't find at some of the other campuses based on its proximity to malls, to restaurants, as well as working opportunities. We look forward to you arriving at London South. When you do arrive, there will be a receiving team, if you're an international student, who will help you get acclimatized, oriented, and settled into your new campus. We have services on campus related to the registrar's office, international office. We can assist with banking, counseling services, as well as academic advising. Everything that you require to be successful is available for you at London South and we work very hard to make sure that you don't need to go far from your campus to get the services that you require. 
if ever you want to visit any of the other campuses in London, you can use your bus pass, which is included in your tuition, to travel to any of those campuses free of charge. And you have full access to all of the amenities at any of Fanshawe's campuses. I look forward to meeting you and I look forward to welcoming you to London South. Take care and see you soon. Thanks, Pranav. If we can jump back into the presentation and go to the next slide. Fantastic. So everyone, as you saw, London South is in London, Ontario, which is also known as the Forest City. So the campus opened to students in September of 2019 with an official grand opening taking place in February of 2020. The school started with four programs as was mentioned in the video, and has already expanded to six programs. So you have the four that were mentioned in the video, plus healthcare administration management and information technology infrastructure. With that, we also look forward to continuing to grow. All of our programs provide students with experiential learning, as well as skills required to meet the needs of both students and employers. And London South Campus provides the same exceptional student experience that students receive at all Fanshawe campuses and locations. So we would like to know what drew you to London South. Feel free to just drop that in the question section while we continue the presentation. Next slide, please, Pranav. So at London South, we have a small team of support staff who are there to help you go through each term. You'll see their faces often and get to know them very well. They range from support with academic advising, IT, our learning management system, as well as customer service. Your program coordinators, including a large faculty team, can help with program and course related materials to help you succeed and get the most out of your time at London South. Next slide, please. So we have many events at the campus for students as we want to ensure that they get the best possible experience, not only in terms of education, but also in terms of social activities. We're always trying to come up with new things to do and are working on a student lounge area that has table tennis and arcade games for our students. Staff often work with our Fanshawe Students Union to plan events and activities as well. One such event was our Pastries with the Presidents, which introduced students to, in that term to the current Students Union President, as well as the President of the College, Peter Devlin. London South's goal is to give all an all around experience for all of our students. Next slide, please. So today, I would like to introduce you to three of our five program coordinators. You will meet each one of them and they will talk about their programs as well as be here at the end to have a panel discussion to answer any questions that you have. Next slide, please. The first coordinator I would like to introduce you to is Professor Larry Vrestia. Please enjoy this short video about his program before we hear from him directly. Just gonna take a second. That's a joy of live presentations. The technology has a vote. So we appreciate your patience.
Uh, can anybody hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Right, I think uh, there's a problem. Um, I'm unable to do anything. I think it's it is not responding right now. The go to webinar. Uh, okay, I'm no problem. To change presenter. Yeah. Can you come back to the presentation for me, Pranav? I'm afraid not. Uh, it's just not responding. This the system has stopped responding completely. Okay, well that's fine. The the beautiful thing about this setup is you have your three program coordinators here and they happen to know their programs exceptionally well. So I'll turn it over to Professor Larry to talk about his program. Hello, Nord, and thank you. And hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, to this uh, session today. We're so happy to have you all here. Despite some uh, minor challenges with technology, we're all here live with you. So we're looking forward to having a chance to chat with you. Um, the two-year business management program is the largest international student program at the college. And it's a unique one-of-a-kind type of program for future business leaders such as yourself. Um, the current curriculum is very similar to mini MBA program and it's centered around case based learning and there's no textbooks or no exams in this particular course um, and in all and in the program in general. Basically what you do is you learn by analyzing real life business uh, cases and then discussing those situations with your fellow classmates and the professor live in the classroom. Um, and you come up with issues uh, and solutions to those issues and develop a, a game plan for making sure that the business is successful moving forward. So um, we're looking really forward to welcoming you into the, uh, the program um, in the near future. And uh, it's an awesome program, like I said, for anyone who's interested in business management or uh, you know, being able to lead a company or your own business in the future. Thank you. Back to you, Nord. Thanks, Larry. Now I'd like to introduce Professor Mark Bueno, who is our ITI and BIA program coordinator. Mark, over to you. Hello, thanks, Nord. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you everyone for coming and Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Uh, yeah, my name is Mark, Mark Bueno, and I, I actually am the coordinator of the business and uh, information systems uh, uh, architecture program. Uh, it's a great name for a great program. I also coordinate the um, uh, ITI which is uh, unlike the, B, the BIA, as we call it for short, the International and the, the, the Business and Information Systems Architecture Program for short, it's called BIA, which is a two-year postgraduate program. The ITI is a one-year um, uh, postgraduate program. Uh, so basically, uh, what, is the, uh, what is the BIA? Uh, and the ITI all about. The idea of the BIA is uh, basically, it's simple, uh, but challenging to achieve. And a problem that we stri we've been striving to solve for a long, long time in computer science is actually to narrow the gap or to bridge the gap between, uh, between uh, in, uh, information technology and businesses needs so it's a it's a huge task it's a challenging task to to, to do this kind of thing so we um, at the BIA and the ITI this is our goal to learn to learn current technologies such as networking uh, cybersecurity cloud computing big data um, business intelligence um, business uh, systems analysis, requirement gathering. It's a, it's a wide spectrum of uh, IT, IT uh, areas uh, highly connected with 
business needs through use case, through guest speakers that we'll have to address all our need uh, or to, to actually pre pre prepare us to the to the um, to our job. We want to get ready uh, for a job from day one. So in order to do that, uh, in order to absorb all that content, we actually uh, we don't want you to feel alone and that you're gonna feel all all the burden of absorbing so much. Um, so we have prepared for we have prepared for we have actually um, set up a very a very good team of veteran students. Who have already gone through the BIA program. Every course, every every course content, every uh, challenge of each course, uh, and the idea of it is exactly that. It will be uh, they will be helping you through the entire program as tutors and like a guide on the side, so you're not gonna feel alone in the program. We'll be here for more questions whenever you. Uh, I mean, uh, during the presentation. Thank you very much. Thanks, Professor Mark. Now I'd like to introduce Professor Corinne Rahman, who is our Healthcare Administration Management Program Coordinator. Thank you very much, Nord. Much appreciated. Uh, well, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm really pleased to have the opportunity today to speak to you about the Healthcare Administration Management Program. My name is Professor Corinne Rahman. I have a master's degree in leadership and uh, have a background in uh, business and healthcare. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the opportunity to uh, become a student in the Healthcare Administration Management Program. This program is geared to students with a healthcare background. What we are trying to do in healthcare administration management is give you the business skills that you need to couple with your healthcare experience so that you can be leaders in healthcare. What we're focused on is providing you and making you confident in a Canadian healthcare setting, how to lead a team, communicate and make decisions. We do that in a campus that feels like a small tight knit community with faculty who care about you, your academics and your future. Students in healthcare administration management programs are well suited for careers in an entry level and middle management positions in a wide variety of healthcare settings, such as clinics, hospitals, private facilities, and other organizations. This two year graduate certificate program is four semesters, 23 courses, and your courses will range in areas such as HR, finance, billing, scheduling, ethics, and law. Like the business management program, many of our, our uh, courses are case-based courses, meaning that you'll have an opportunity to work through real live scenarios uh, and, and provide your decision-making skills and use your decision-making skills to show uh, what you would do in a similar situation. It gives you that critical thinking piece that employers are saying that they want from students. Students coming into this program will build upon your previous schooling and work experience. You'll learn mid-level managerial skills in marketing, human resources, finance, ethics, and law. And you'll be able to apply all of this knowledge and theory to real life situations. So what do your weekly courses look like? Well, most of your courses will involve some reading, videos, lectures, assignments, things that will keep you stimulated and active. We have five courses within the program that involve electronic medical record, record simulators. We have many courses that are structured around res, uh, research, as well as many opportunities to engage with and network with professionals in healthcare. Most of our courses incorporate guest speakers. We have lots of learning and volunteer opportunities for students as well. Our goal is to make you job ready. And that's what we strive to do every day. Once again, thank you so much for the opportunity to present to you today about healthcare administration management, and I'll turn it back over to Nord. Thank you, Professor Corinne. So everyone, now that you've heard more about us, do you have any questions that we can help answer 
for you. Please enter your questions into the question section. Pranav will take back the hosting and we will go through your questions one by one and hopefully answer all of them. Once we finish the question section, then we will have our contest. So please stay with us to the end. Um, Nor, I'm sorry to say the questions tab doesn't seem to be working here for me. Um, so are you able to see the questions? Anybody is able to see the questions? Apart I can from me? see the questions. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. If you can make me a presenter right. as well. Uh, Thank you. And I can help to navigate with the questions. I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm I'm unable to change anything here on the system right now. Uh, no problem. We've got this under control. Okay, so the first question. Uh, can I enter a fast track program of business management? I'm already paid for the course. Professor Larry. Um, thank you, Nord. Uh, when we when we talk about a fast track program, I'm assuming that you have a number of courses that you've taken in your undergraduate uh, program um, at another school, and that you are thinking of possibly applying those to to get a credit for future uh, uh, courses in the program. Um, what we highly recommend that you do is that you you contact us at the London South Campus uh, with your request in terms of um, letting us know what courses that you, uh, you you are looking for to get fast tracked on. And then we will have a chance to discuss with you if those courses are indeed appropriate and if they're a good match for any of the current courses we're taking in the program. And then we'll be able to, uh, to give you a better answer on that. Um, I'm assuming after this uh, presentation, uh, we'll be sending you some additional information regarding how to get in contact with us. So you're certainly welcome to do that. And we are more than happy to take a look at that to see if we can uh, give you credit for any of your, your courses uh, that you've taken in the past. Thanks, Professor Larry. The second question is also related to business management. The question is, is there any industrial training included in the business management certificate so the the awesome video that we didn't have a chance to show you today actually gave you a little bit more detail in terms of the program and what we will do after um, this particular session is that we will make that video available to you so that you can have the link and you can take a look at more of the details on the program the program in general um, is a case-based program so that all of the classes that you take um, are, are revolve around a case analysis that you do in the physical classroom. And you have a chance to talk about the issues that are happening in the case and coming up with solutions. We also have a hands-on course that's in the third level of this program. And that's an integrated business consultancy program where you're working with companies in industry, um, working in uh, organizations within the community to help consult with them regarding issues that they're having. And you as a team act as consultants where you go and you help them um, solve that problem, come up with solutions to it, and come up with a game plan on how they can roll that out within their companies. So it's a great hands-on experience that you have. And that supplements the case-based discussions that you've been having in the classes um, throughout the program as well. So those two things coming together really gives you a great overview about background on how to analyze a problem and then actually doing it in real life. Thank you very much, Professor Larry. There is one question that came in that I can answer. The question was, what is the average size of um, average class size, number of students in a class, the number is approximately 30 students. Um, I have a question for Professor Corinne, which is what does a typical day in healthcare management look like? Oh, well, thank you for the question. Uh, so a typical day in healthcare administration management looks like uh, a, a day where you'll have a class or two. Um, usually uh, your classes will have around 30 students in your class. Your classes are highly interactive. So the goal is not just to lecture to you, it's to engage you and get you involved in the discussion and make sure that you walk away with a firm understanding of the information. 
You can expect there will be some reading and assignments in the evenings or in the afternoon, but that's the beauty of the program as well, is that students can take uh, the time that they need to be able to um, complete their assignments and complete uh, their readings when they're available to. So many students in the program uh, work or volunteer outside of the classroom as well. Thank you, Professor Corinne. There's a question about co-ops. There are no co-ops in any of these three programs, but there are some experiential learning opportunities. And maybe we'll go through each of the panelists. We'll start with Professor Mark, then Professor Larry, then Professor Corinne, and you can talk about those experiential learning opportunities. Professor Mark? Okay, thank you, Nord. Thank you for the question. Um, well, basically, uh, in the BIA program and the ITI program, um, the we have many opportunities. I mean, since day one, you're going to be in touch with what is uh, with real world scenarios, uh, case studies, uh, guest speakers have the opportunity to work on campus on very realistic scenarios. So um, the co uh, so in terms of uh, the experiential um, the, the learning, it will uh, come from I mean, a semester after semester, you'll have more uh, more uh, chances to actually get involved in working not only on campus but also in the community, and we have specifically designed to our fourth term students, uh, what we call a capstone project. That capstone project is your time to be dedicated to industry uh, projects that are gonna be in touch, directly in touch with industry uh, personnel and with industry projects. You may wanna actually create, have the opportunity to, um, build your own project could be even a research project or could turn into an applied research project where uh may eventually end up being a uh, or turn out to be a um, startup that we have so many uh and it's a growing field in the area so in terms of experiential learning uh we you're not gonna actually uh feel short on any of the experiences or any opportunities that you have otherwise in a formal co-op term. Thanks, Professor Mark. Professor Larry? So uh, thank you, Nord. Uh, the business management program is completely designed around experiences and having uh, you uh, be fully involved with discussions and talking about situations, real life situations that are occurring on a daily basis in business. The program itself is designed around the Harvard University uh, School of Business and how they set up their classes, whereby um, each week you're learning about a different case, a different case study that you're going to read in advance and, and discuss in the classroom. And these real life cases are relevant to a whole range of different business topics that they'll be taking in the program. So every week you are needing to deal with a, a real life situation that has happened in an organization. You're going to need to work with your fellow students as a team to come up with a solution and figure out what the issue is. And then you're going to need to communicate that out to the rest of the class and the professor in a boardroom setting where you're talking about what's going on and what you think you should do uh, if you were in that role as a business leader. So every week you are in the seat of a business manager. You are the person who, who are making the decisions for all of these cases. In addition to uh, these weekly uh, case analysis that you are doing in every course, um, as I mentioned, you're also going to be involved with the integrated business consultancy project where it's a live project that you're working with with companies in the community. So you're going to have a really great experience in terms of weekly discussions as well as this project that you're going to be doing 
So, and there's no textbooks or exams in this program either. And we've done that purposefully because although you're gonna learn some, some theory, we're not gonna be testing you on the theory. What we want you to learn about is how do you deal with the situation when you're faced with it and how you as a manager would manage properly. And that's what we're doing every week in every single course in this program for the two, uh, two year period. Thank you, Professor Larry. Professor Curran. Thank you. So as mentioned, we uh, are really focused on bringing the opportunities to you. So in our capstone project in level four, uh, what we'll do is we'll be focused on looking at a healthcare and industry related problem. We will be looking at it from the lens of how do we solve a complex problem in a healthcare setting. Uh, and thinking through how we can use the knowledge that we've gained over the past few semesters, as well as your healthcare background, uh, to really integrate those things into the problem solving, um, in, into, into how to solve a problem. The reason that we are doing this as a culminating uh, fourth level program, uh, this capstone, is we want to leave you with those skills and that we've helped to develop over the time uh, that you've been in this program, really focusing again on team building, critical thinking, and problem solving, and really looking at making you, your resume and your, your skill set and knowledge sharp uh, for when you enter the job market. Perfect. Thanks, Professor Corinne. Um, there's another question here where a student says, I suppose that several of the classes are shared with students from different careers and not exclusively with your program for those two years. So it's important that you appreciate that every program is comprised of a broad range of academic and professional backgrounds. So the people in your classes will have different backgrounds, almost definitely you are then cohorted together in each level as you move through the program so you'll have an opportunity at times to have students who you're familiar with but also to meet new students who are in your program as you move through and progress through your studies um, a question for you professor mark a student asks is the bia program online or blended Okay, thanks for the question. Uh, well, the BIA program is uh, currently de being delivered online. The, the program is normally delivered in person. Uh, we, uh, the program has been actually adjusted um, and very actually successfully adjusted to be delivered in any format uh, currently available, blended, uh, blended hybrid, um, totally online or in person. We carefully reassessed in, uh, in, face of, uh, face of, in face of COVID on the best possible way to deliver the program with the same outcome, whether it is in person, uh, hybrid, or uh, totally online. How can we do that? uh wouldn't we need labs wouldn't we need like the 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 hands-on experience yes absolutely and that is what we have invested in so much uh uh cutting edge cutting edge bleeding edge actually uh education methodologies and simulators so you can uh pretty much feel as if you were in front of the 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 real equipment the real uh, doing the lab in the lab so um this has been amazingly uh, as i said has been a success and we feel totally comfortable delivering the project the, the 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 program in any of those formats we're ready to deliver according to the needs with exactly the same outcome no matter what delivery mode it is chosen but short answer, it is an in-person program that is currently being delivered online. Hopefully I answered the question. Yes, thank you, Professor Mark. Um, a question here for Professor Corinne. 
After passing the health admin course, and if I decide to advance my career, do you have pathways to local universities to further education? Thank you, that's a great question. Um, what we hear currently from our students about the pathways that they're looking for um, have been more into uh, careers and then maybe leading to the designation as to which they've, they've currently studied. So um, it is definitely something that we are looking at, um, but it is, uh, as of right now, the pathways that we have uh, outside, out of this program are not linked to a university program directly. There are many opportunities where students will gain knowledge that they can use in, uh, let's say, um, you know, a, a master's in, in healthcare administration, for instance. So that would be a discussion um, to have with that institution that you're looking to, to match with. Thank you. Um, the next question is a general academics question. I think I'll refer that to Professor Larry. The question specifically, Professor, is what is a capstone project? Thank you, Nord, and, and great question. I mean, uh, we've had some really good questions already uh, uh, throughout this session, so thank you everyone for, for posing these. Um, a capstone project is basically a culminating project or, or a project that encapsulates everything you've learned in the program to date. So what we try and do in that project is to make sure that all the learnings that you had in terms of the different theories you've learned, um, how you work with a team, um, understanding a particular topic, we try and apply all of that knowledge that you've learned to an actual practical project that you're working on. These capstone projects are an important part of the program because it helps you understand um, what you've learned and how to physically apply that in a real life situation. And so these projects range in different sizes and um, you generally work within a group to complete these projects. And um, we find that students love this experience because it's a great way for them to say, hey, listen, I learned this in this topic. Um, I learned about this in this course. And you're able to apply those different things together as a team in order to complete this project. Thank you, Professor Larry. Um, the next question is for Professor Mark. The question is, will international BIA students share the same classes with the ITI domestic students in the first two levels as it has the same courses? Well, again, thanks for the question. Yes, uh, the answer is yes. In the first two semesters, uh, BIA students and uh, ITI students, they share the same environment, the same classroom, the same activities. Um, and uh, the idea is, but they don't, they, they will be actually, uh, all of our faculty is totally ready to um, address the specifics of those students coming for uh, the ITI certificate uh, versus those students coming from, uh, coming to the, the BIA certificate. And this actually kind of connects to, relates to a previous question, where we have a very diverse uh, a very diverse cohort and uh, the fact that people are pursuing uh in the first two semesters two different certificate it actually uh it is it benefits both uh both uh bia students and iti students so yes they will be actually uh it's a blended class blended classrooms Thank you, Professor Mark. The next question is for Professor Larry. Are there any extra diplomas or accreditations like the Forum for International Trade Training in International Business in the Business Management Program? So again, thank you for that question. Um, the certifications that um, that are eligible for that students can get um, are available outside of the program itself. So this particular program covers off a wide range of different topics in business, just like an MBA program would cover. So you cover things from human resources to finance to uh, operations. Uh, there's a wide range of different topics you cover. 
within each of those courses uh, and within each of those different industries, there are different certifications or, or um, designations that you can earn. And we're available to give you the, that information in terms of uh, if you're interested in a particular industry or a particular area of business, we can help consult with you to give you some suggestions about additional certifications um, or designations that you can get um, outside of the program. So we work very closely with you to make sure that if you have any additional interest, we will try and help you with that and channel that towards you. Thank you, Professor Larry. Uh, there's a general question here that I will feel. The question is, are there any job listings at the London South Campus like at the main one? Uh, yes, in fact, there are. There are a number of co-curricular uh, positions specific to helping students with the learning management system called FOL. There are also positions on the lab squad in support of the BIA program. And we work very closely with the local businesses in the London South area and post those positions on the main college job board, but those positions are located in London South. Um, the next question here is for Professor Mark. A student asks that they are worried about the difficulty of the BIA program and wonder what level it's at because they are originally a student from China and US and have almost no experience in computer systems. Great question and, and, and a very common question to, to the BIA since the BIA, the BIA covers uh, so many covers a broad spectrum, right? So uh, it's a very common question. How, can I succeed with that? What background do I need to do to, to actually enroll in such a great program that will, but that program will be intense, will have to learn a lot? Yes. So, but um, the idea of the BIA uh, and recognizing exactly that difficulty uh, and actually no pain, no gain, we're going to have to put lots of effort in it. Uh, because the, the program is is actually intensive, um, the program is comprehensive, but uh, our idea, our, what we have set up for you, uh, prospective students, current students and prospective students, is that what I said at the beginning, you're never going to be alone in the program. So whether you have a business background or an IT background, or another related uh, uh, background, uh, and you're taking like a course, for example, you're in a, a business, you have a business background and you're taking like networking course. Oh, that's new to me. I may be actually a little bit scared of taking that. You will have not only um, uh, amazing uh, support from your faculty, but uh, it, it won't stop there. You have that, uh, one-to-one -one tutoring program and veteran students who have gone through the same difficulties, same challenging and same uh, um, same uh, experiences that you will be going through and they will be there to help you through every assignment, every lab, every uh, difficulties that you may have had during a lecture uh, or even lectures that you may have missed so and this group is called the lab squad so the lab squad is there to help you uh, and to help you to help you succeed in the program from day one to the very last day of the program so don't expect an easy program don't expect like uh, uh, but expect that you're gonna have all the support that personally uh, even even uh, having a work in many other uh, 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 educational institutions, uh, this is by far the best and most effective uh, uh, way of providing you with the background you need. So don't be worried about it. That that's my uh, advice. Thank you, Professor Mark. The next question is for Professor Corinne. Does health does healthcare administration management share classes with other courses or programs? 
Uh, no, they do not. They, the courses that you take in healthcare administration management are solely within the program healthcare administration management and have a healthcare angle or focus to them. So although we may have similar courses in other parts and other programs um, at the college, what we really strive for is that your professors are uh, are knowledgeable and within the field of healthcare and that the examples and the scenarios and the things that you're working through are healthcare based uh, where necessary and needed. Um, we do, however, have a, an opportunity for students that are in another program in health systems management to uh, come into this program um, in level three so that they can actually complete an, uh, another year uh, with us to get a, a certificate in healthcare administration management as well. Wonderful, thank you, Professor Corinne. Uh, Professor Larry, question for you regarding what is the class schedule and business management, like the timings and frequency of classes? Thank you, Nord. Um, the program is set up um, that you have in-class time that you're spending with your fellow students and professors having discussions about the cases that you're, you're analyzing that week. And then you also have self-study time for all of your courses. So basically, for each one of the courses that you have in the program, you attend classes once a week. And uh, th that Last for two hours in time. So you're again some great um, uh, chance that you have. And so, in general, you would have uh, one class per course per week, and you would have your five or six courses, depending on the level of the program. So, in a week, you might have two classes um, or two courses that you're studying in maybe on a Monday, one on a Tuesday, and possibly maybe two on a Wednesday or Thursday. So, we spread them out during the week, so they're not all piled up all at once. But generally, it's two hours you're spending in the classroom for each of your courses each week. Thank you, Professor Larry. Um, there's a question here which asks, what kind of companies come on campus for recruitment or projects? Um, I can tell you generally there are a number of companies from all around the region that come on campus, ranging from tech sector companies, from banks, um, local businesses such as Walmart, Costco, Canadian Tire that are right in the region of London South to health firms and private clinics. The reason for this is because all of the programs have program advisory committees where the coordinators work directly with industry to build a relationship to receive advice on how the program should be structured as well as to recruit talent into their businesses. So this is something that's fundamental to how um, programs are created. There's a question here, Professor Larry, are there any pathways in business management? So the business management program is an interesting one because it's almost like I said, almost like a mini MBA program. And so we have a lot of undergraduate students from a huge range of different industries and backgrounds. So we have engineers, we have lawyers, we have physicians, we have people who have started their own businesses, we have people from human resources or operations, and they're all coming into this program to learn more about how to manage um, in, within any of the industries that they're interested in. So say, for example, if it's someone who uh, is owning their own business, they're taking this program in order to better understand how to manage a situation and how to lead a team more effectively. So the pathways that these various um, students take when you in this program, you might have an interest then in a particular industry or a particular uh, type of area of business. 
And so the, there's a number of different pathways that you can take. We are here, we've got some great uh, academic counselors and career counselors that can help you depending on what interest and interesting area that you want to get into. Uh, we can help you uh, provide you with that guideline and, and uh, set you on a, a career path for success on that. So it, it, we, we try and be as general as possible to provide these services to you depending on what specific industry you want to take a path into in the future. Wonderful. Okay. Um, our last question is, are healthcare classes focused to study um, at mornings or evenings? Uh, currently, we are studying in the morning. Um, our classes are right now online um, in order to accommodate different time zones and be very student focused we are um, running our classes in the mornings and uh, as you know things um, as we look to the future that that is definitely something where we'll we'll look at what's best for students and that's uh, one of the things about this program is that we have always looked at student input and uh, student feedback as a way to help guide our program decisions. Wonderful. Thank you, Professor Corinne. So we have about four minutes left, but before you leave, I had mentioned earlier in the presentation that we were going to have a contest. So now it's contest time. Let's see how well you paid attention. Just so everyone understands what we're playing for, there will be four questions. The first person to respond in the question section with the correct answer, not any answer, but the correct answer, will receive a $25 gift certificate to the Red Zone, which is where you can purchase online Fanshawe um, memorabilia and swag, clothing, um, so that way, like all of our panelists here who look good in their Fanshawe branded attire, Larry's not wearing his on the outside, his is underneath his sweater. Um, we all look um, like Fanshawe, so you can acquire this, um, these products and have them shipped directly to you. So we wish you all luck. The first question is, what is the nickname for London, Ontario? must be googling <laughs> yeah people are <laughs> so um the first correct response goes to calpani who answered with the four city that is correct there are a few correct answers but uh calpani is the first correct one so congratulations on that calpani uh the second question when did london south first open to students. I see some answers coming in, but I haven't received the correct answer yet. When did London South first open to students? Aroshi Kara has the correct answer, 2019, September 2019 is when we first opened to students and then had the grand opening in 2020. Our third question, how many programs in total are offered at London South? Aroshi, Got that one correct as well. There are six programs at London South. So Aroshi so far has received, um, has answered two questions correctly, which is fantastic. The last question in our session, 
what is the name of the president of Fanshawe College? This is definitely one you can Google. And Aroshi has a correct answer again. It is President Peter Devlin. So Aroshi, you got three correct, which is fantastic. And Kalpani, you also got a correct answer. So what we'll have you do is send an email to, who are the emailing? Pranav, are they emailing you? Uh, yes, they can send an email to me. I'll, I'll be happy. Uh, if not, but you would have to share my email with them. Uh, that would be great. Sure. If you want to give it to me, I'll type it in right now as one of the answers. Mm -hmm. Give me a quick minute here just to pull Pranab's email so I can send that to everyone. And Pranab is also a great resource if anyone has um, any questions regarding um, regarding anything that we talked about today. So I've sent this to you, Arushi. You can email Pranav and send him your address. I will also send Kalpani. I will send you Pranav's email address so that way you can send him your information and we can continue. It is now 11.02. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope we were able to answer all of your questions and we look forward to seeing you at London South Campus. Have a fantastic day. Bye everyone.